Good morning everyone. It's a beautiful Sunday morning and I'm here in front of you again making this video <laughs> because um, I'm compelled to do so. I, if you are a subscriber in my channel, ma notice niyo na tanan videos na ako. Most of my videos na gigi paghugutan or na someone nga nag nag ako ah, na trigger ko na maghimo og video and for sure, kabalo na mo nga nung naghimo ko na yung video because of this COVID-19 na pandemic. Now, um, before I proceed, maghimo sa akong disclaimer. Okay, I, I just wanted to be clear that whatever I am saying here, whatever I will share with you, uh, you may hear some beliefs, principles na ako ang ginabelieve. But that I, I just want to say na please do not believe whatever I'm saying unless you feel it or un unless you have checked it for yourself that it also is working for you or it resonates you why i am trying why i'm saying this because a lot of people are just um accepting the the suggestions or like if you hear something or if you read something especially if it is from the mga kanang higher officials or kanang mga na mga position sa kinabuhi or if it is your your but anyone na kanang mas taas ato ah, atong parents atong mga government officials the priests the pastors whenever we hear them say something we all we just accept it as the truth but what I have found out or what I have kanang na, uh, ang akong na na, na na realize na we are not a robot like this is what I'm trying to say you are not a robot you know what to think what to decide so please do not ac just accept the the things or the or or the words nga gi, na dumug ni mo or nabasa ni mo just because it is from the higher authority what i'm trying to say is check it for yourself you have your own guidance system you have your own mind you have the power of will so let me continue <laughs> the reason why i am why i am making this video is to create awareness to share with you the things that I have believed, the the the, the principles na ako ang gina, gina adapt na karon that has helped me a lot to shift my attention, to shift my focus to the more the, the positive side of this pandemic. Now, because you know when you look at the in the internet, the kayo mostly uh, updates about the the COVID, mga victims of COVID-19, mga nahawaan na, pila nakabuk ang persons of uh, under investigation or persons under in monitoring, pila na namatay and all. Now, with all these things, you can't help, when you, when you read that one, you can't help but worry, you can't help but dwell into fear. Now, I'm not here to tell you that do not worry or do not fear because human as we are, morag ka ng default na na, na to or, or, or every time na ka ng makakadungog kag mga ang anak na news, of course, mag-isip ni mo ang imha family, imuhang, you know, loved ones. But, I am here also in front of you today to tell you that it is possible na dili ka mag-worry. It is possible na dili ka mag-fear. Nga nung maingon ko, because I have experienced it myself. So, how did I do it? Like, what has transpired? Unsay nahitabo? Nga nung dili naman ko mag... I mean, nga nung kabalo naman ko, dili ang term na dili na ako mag-worry because there are times when I wake up in the morning kanang feeling na ako, lai man akong gibati. Bisagulay nahitabo, pero I, I feel worried, I feel some fear inside and and because of this awareness that i am having right now 
and because I know that it is very important to be aware of what of your emotion of what you are feeling then I think this more good ni ang more I think mo ni ang nakatabang maong ma shift na nako so I'm not saying na wala na ako nag worry it's just that at the earlier stage pa lang kabalo na kabalo na ako mag shift or or ako nang kanang I make sure to find um, positive things or find positive thoughts para ma shift na ako akong emotion now why is it very important na atong atong uh, maging aware ta sa ato ang ginabati now if you have um watch my previous video i have made a video about collective consciousness this is very important because when you karon di ba ang sanahita bo the more sya na naggrabe because when you hear the news or when you read the news unsa man imong bation di ba when you hear na mo na ni ang number sa mga nangamatay mo na ni mga tao nga mga naapektuhan definitely ang imuhang ang imuhang emotion imong feeling is madlok ka di ba magworry ka and worry and fear is a negative emotion and it has a lower vibration so isa da is ako magina paniwalaan karon and, and i kanang is that we are a vibrational being na as as of now karon na naga istorya ko or ikaw nga naga tanaw sa ko karon or every one of us any one of us we are vibrating at a different lay nga level so if you are clinging into fear if you are if you have you are having this worry and 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 fear these are low vibration low energy low energy and so uh, it, it, you are vibrating at a low level, low frequency, meaning you are adding to the negativity of the world. So, diba, we don't have, ito pa, ikaduha nga akong ano, number one is that we are a vibrational being, and ang ikaduha na akong agina, ano karon is, every time, every time na makita ako ug news nga, Medyo, medyo negative or dili siya kaaya-aya, I always remind myself or I always kanang ginaano na ako nga na ako'y choice. I, I have the choice to, to the choice to feel negative about it or to feel positive. Diba? To, to feel uh, worried or to feel happy. Now, muna ka. Ang saan yung paging happy kung makita ni mo nga kung ano na ang number sa mga namatay. Mauna ni ang mga natakdan. Naka-lockdown na, na, na gani ang, ang mostly sa ito. Uh, uh, dili lang dari sa Pilipinas but all over the world. Daga na give kayo mga cities nga ka naapektado na or, or nations na apektado na ani nga pandemic. So, that's why that's why I'm here because um, gusto na ako i-share nga pwede siya, posible siya nga dili ka mag-worry or dili ka mag-dwell or mag dili ni mo siya pa padakon ba ang imo ang gibati about ana because it's not helping. You know very well, you know for the fact that worry and fear will not help solve this pandemic. And definitely it will make it more bigger more kanang mas mas maging worse pa ni siya if we will continue to dwell sa fear or sa worry diba that's why i'm sharing this in in my own little way balag i know gamay lang man, man millions or thousands ako subscriber but somehow kaning mga tao nga ako masharean if they will accept it, if they will choose to, to change also, to shift also their emotion to their feeling. Because, as I've said, that it is very important that you, you be aware of what you are feeling because what you are feeling you are, and what your emotion, you are vibrating it, you are, are, are vibrating it to the world. The question I'm, I'm throwing to you is, kung sa imong gusto nga, if vibrate kung say gusto ni mo nga i share sa kalibutan na energy low energy or high energy 
diba? high vibration or low vibration. Of course, we want to help, diba? we want to help, but is worrying and, and you know, kanang maghadlo ka, magfear ka, o magworry ka, makatabang ba siya? You know the answer. It will make the situation worse and it will not help you in any way. And the more he noon na mag worse ang situation and possible na mag worse po ang imuhang situation. What I'm trying to say is know that God is in control. Sa tanan mga nahitabo karon, all is well. Ang <laughs> say all is well, daga na magkaya na matay. Gigamit lang siguro, or COVID-19 na virus, kailangan lang siya nga mahitabo. For a greater reason, I am always a believer of that, that, that everything happens for a reason, na ay rason ang panangbutang, even this pandemic, na siya ay rason. Diba, I have seen kanang post on social media na, na this COVID-19 daw has helped them more closer sa ilang family, mas naka relax sila, or murag ng ginhawa ang earth, and which is true, diba? Kay most, sig siguro nakita siguro, sa yun noon na kanang dili siguro, nakita niya nga, kanang people are too busy about their you know, about their lives, about their works, and kanang, and they forgot to go inside, to, to, to do the things that really matter. Diba? So, um, what I am suggesting here is try to shift your emotion whenever you feel some, or whenever you read and hear negative news or anything about COVID thing, ask yourself what emotion or what feeling you want to activate. Do you want to activate worry or fear or do you want to activate happiness and wellness? Of course, we, we, we want to be well. We want to be happy. We want to um, enjoy life. But why are we activating worry? Why are we activating fear? This is what we are not understanding na, na whenever you say something, whenever you share something negative, even if you don't want it, diba, mo anak ako, dili man ako na gusto, kaya anak ko siya gishare, kaya din ako gusto. What you are not understanding, that you are activating the thing. When you say, I don't want it, you're telling the universe or God na, Muoni ang ako ang gusto i-activate. So, whenever we read the news or hear the news about this pan pandemic, ask yourself, what is it you really want? Do you want this virus to s stop? Do you want this this kanang pandemic to, to, to end? Then, what emotion are you going to activate? Diba? Marag, ask yourself every time nga mag, ma, makita, makakita kag mga news about this pandemic. Kay, as, I, as I have said, it is very important or this is what the world or most people wala nakarealize nga it is very important that we care about how we feel because it is somehow helping or or not helping the kanang the situation so if you are vibrating high if you are sending love and happiness and joy then you are you are adding to the positivity diba? in your own little way now if you fear if you worry then you are adding to the negativity so it's your choice so if so whenever you hear the news or, or read the news ask yourself what I am going to activate here I am I going to dwell into fear or happiness we thought na 
dapat mag-worry kita with all these happenings dapat mag-worry ta dapat mag kanang diba murag muogid na ang kasagarang ano sa tao ay mahadlok dapat mahadlok ka default diba that's our default pero as i've said what we do have not realized that we have the choice we can choose to be happy despite what is happening right now we can choose to enjoy to have fun so ano diba i have a suggestion kanang kanang instead of kind of focusing on the news focusing sa mga sa mga nahitabo why not try tiktok <laughs> bitaw dili tungod kay nagahimo ko tiktok but you know what making tiktok or making videos kanang if you have tiktok account maka happy diba maka wala og stress or ma shift emo- emotion the the purpose why i am suggesting this na na you make tiktok videos or anything that makes you happy my suggestion is try to shift your emotion shift your focus the reason why you are worried why you are having this fear because you are too focused on 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 covid-19 you are too focused on this pandemic thing well well you can well in 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 fact we you can change your focus you can actually see the brighter side of it deba pwede ka mag tiktok magtanom if you are like me i am starting to plant kanang vegetables maka happy makita nimo sila na mag grow tapos i i'm kanang nagatahi ko because it is one of my passions jud na magtahi mag nagatahi ko unya or and, and i make TikTok videos, I watch um, videos na makahappy. And the purpose of that is actually to shift your attention, to shift your focus into uh, uh, lighter things or into uh, brighter things, diba? So, kasi diba, when you're making, example, when you're making TikTok videos, dili man ka mag-video na, diba? When you're making videos, dili man ka nag-iisip na pila na kaya ang namatay or or daga na kayag na infect ng sa virus diba you, diba mawala na siya sa imong isip so that is the the purpose of of this or or let me suggest na you do something that will deviate you from fear and worry that's what i'm doing na kanang every time na makita ko or makadungog ko makabasa ko og negative news i I I always tell myself I only allow things, words and 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 people that are in alignment to my desire. So what is my desire? I desire happiness, I desire wellness, I desire joy, I desire well-being. So I should focus more on there rather than fear and worry. Diba? So go ahead if you feel like you want to do TikTok, I suggest you do it. Kay makalingaw jud siya sa mga TikTokers din ha. <laughs> kawai kawai shout out sa tanang naga TikTok. Di ba maka happy, maka wala og stress and kanang you just thought na kanang ang uban kay naingon na ah dapat magpray ka mga nana. It doesn't mean that you're not praying or you're not you're not kanang concerned about what is happening. It's just that in in my case and sa ako ang sa ako ang um stand is just that i just don't want to focus sa negativity i am aware of of course madungog man ako pero wala lang nako siya ginapa grow because the more you focus on a thing it grows it is the a law bisan pa whether you know it or not once once you focus on one thing it will really grow so what the question is what are you wanting to to grow unsa imong gusto nga maggrow sa imong hang kinabuhi ang ang hang fear ba ug ang worry or you know well-being and happiness diba so i hope i'm making sense here i somehow na uh, i hope kanang somehow na, na send na ko ang message na gusto na ko ipadat pa, paabot so let me just recap na ang uh, my ang ako lang gusto ipabot na you always have a choice you can be you can choose to be happy you can choose to 
to enjoy you can choose to have fun because and you can choose actually to worry you can also choose to fear you can choose na magmukmuk lang ka din ha o mag ano depende sa mo ha which asa man ang mas mas kanangaan or asa man ang ang lami nga feeling de ba when you are happy of course lami ang feeling when you're sad when you're worried lain bugat siya you know why isa sa mga na natunan ako the reason why you are not feeling good when you feel worried and fear it is because you are not in alignment with the source or with God whoever whatever you want to call it that's the reason why you are not feeling good why why you are not um, why you are feeling bad because you are not in alignment because God or the source is always here it's always vib it's always vibrating high and when you're worried and when you're f when you have this fear you are vibrating low so diligid siya connect diligid siya mag align so and god and the our god or the source will will never go down dili siya mo baba para lang na para lang ma sa bataw na para damayan ka sa imuhang kahadlok sa imong worry he will never do that for me ha i believe na dili gyud niya buhaton because god is always in high vibration so our role is to find ways to shift our emotion to have this high vibration to have this um kanang high energy the ba so find things that make you feel happy make you kanang and feel fun or find ways to shift your emotion wala ko kabalo kung unsa para sa inyo for me it's tiktok <laughs> it's planting um vegetables is sewing clothes or anything na mga DIY kana that's that's the happy thing for me that's a happy thing to do para sa ako ah. i don't know about you so kamo ang nakabalo ana so i think that's it um just want to say that all is well everything is fine god is in control see you again next time bye Hey, by the way, let me add this one. This is very important. Life is meant to be fun. Life is meant to be enjoyed. And gamay ra kayo at ang lifetime para mag spend nato into worry and to fear, de ba? So again, choice gapo ni mo na. Muna ka magbuot day ka. Yes, ako gusto ko mag worry. Ang gusto ko mag magmukmuk. Gusto ko masako or the bad choice ni mo my choice is to always have fun to enjoy life no matter what is happening around me doesn't matter kung unsa na because i cannot change by the way the people around me the world i mean dili dili ko ginuo na maka magic diba but what i have power is I have the power of choice. I can choose to be happy. I can choose to enjoy my life regardless of the situation, regardless of what is happening right now. Again, this is Yesa. Have fun, enjoy life. It's a beautiful life. It's a beautiful and wonderful day to live and experience life. So how's everybody? It's been a while since my last video and I purposely did not make videos yet because I want to experience life. I want to share with you the things that I have experienced personally, not just I've heard or I've listened to or I've read through books so gusto ko whatever it is i'm sharing here uh most of this of course are 
you know, personally experienced by me. And so today, I just want to share this um, video that I have watched a um, few days ago. And there's a part of that video that really struck me. And um, it, the question was this, and I'm going to give it to you, to share it with you, that question. that And this question might change your life the way it has changed the per the life of the person sharing this and it has also changed my life actually so this is the question what is the story you are telling what is your life story that you are telling to everybody now most of us we share um, our story um, we say, I have been abandoned, I have been cheated, I have been, um, alam yun, yun parang, all our stories, we, we, we share it to people we, we, we just met or to our friends and loved ones, we share it, we kept on sharing it. And usually or most of the time of course because we are the ones sharing the story syempre tayo yung bida diba so we say um sinaktan ako um um inabandon ako or or i was being cheated i was being um um ano ba ano all of these stories i cannot i cannot name them all but i mean we hear these stories from our friends and even you know personally in my case i also shared the stories before i have been you know i have been um um character assassinated by my upline and so it happened again because i kept on telling the story so the the question why is it i mean why i am giving this or, or sharing this with you because this is very important the story that you are telling to everybody is actually um it, it, uh, so the the question is what is the story you're telling everybody so if you are always playing the victim like when we share the story we don't say oh it's my fault that's why i am here or 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 i have i did something wrong also be that's why I, I come or I, I arrived in this situation. We don't say that. We all, we are always the that. Tayo yung yung bida sa story because that is our story, right? And so we say, um, ganito ako ngayon dahil sa gobyerno, <laughs> di ba? Look at ABS-CBN. They keep kept on blaming um, the government, blaming Duterte and everybody else because that kaya siya nag close. But, uh, and, and so also in our lives, we kept on blaming other people and, and sharing this story to other people and that mm, and, and, and it's, it's, it's very heavy. It's, we are bringing it like it has happened already 10 years ago, 20 years ago, but it's still very active in our life. Now, that that lady was being asked in that in that video. He uh, he was being asked because he she was telling her story and and every time she said every time she tells the story she received a oh kawawa ka naman oh ganyan pala nangyari sa iyo we always say that we always sympathize with those stories that we hear from our friends our family, not knowing that these stories are not actually um, helping our vibration it's not helping us to grow and to create the life that we want so let me continue about that lady uh, sharing her story to a guru uh, she said she's sharing her life story because she said it's very important for the guru to understand why she's having this fear and, and also we do that we always tell our story our pain our struggles um, dahil gusto natin na maintindihan ng mga tao kung bakit ganito tayo or, or why we are choosing this thing and that thing so uh, like we we make this story as our base our reason for not doing our best 
Okay, so what she, when, then after she finished telling the story, the guru asked him, are you gonna bring that story to your grave? And she was 25 years old that time, and that time she, uh, she's a scientist, but, uh, she's studying to be a scientist. And, and so she said, of, of course not. I'm not, going, I'm not going to bring this story until my grave. Oh, really? <laughs> Sabi ng guru, ah, ganun ba? Um, how about a day before you die? Or a month before you die, perhaps? <laughs> and she cannot reply. Hindi niya alam kung anong i-answer niya. <laughs> but but he, she was struck by the question. And then the guru said, Oh, I, 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 I think you you have waited for someone to draw a line for you you have waited for someone to say that let it go or it's time to move on or it's time to let it go and ganun din the bagay na gawa natin <laughs> like we wanted to hear it audibly from god <laughs> to to uh for him to say that it's time to move on it's time to let go diba so Yun, uh, when, when she heard this, she was asked um, to, um, like, uh, she was asked to, to do like a ritual because this happens in India. So, so uh, she was asked to give it to the river, the, all the pain and the, the stories of her life. Uh, she, uh, she will get a handful of water in a certain river there in 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 india and then then when she uh she will scoop a handful of water and then let as the water flows down to her hands she will also let go of those stories and as you and you know that it will not stay for long in our hands right so so to cut the long story short of her life so that was the turning point and she of course at first she did not um, agree with what the guru told her uh, pero naisip daw niya like there was a point in the evening that um that like she was thinking like, okay, how about if I'm gonna do this because uh, nandito naman ako, I'm here now, so maybe there is a reason for it, for it. Why, that's why I'm here, so why not I, I, I give it a try. So off she went to the river and she did not know that time what will happen after, but she just said, I am committed to do, the, to do it seriously. So she, what she did, she get a handful of water and all her pain, all her stories, all the details of her story. She let it flow together with the water and she said she's just crying and crying and stood there and just crying and crying. And then that's where uh, her story started. I mean, her, her awakening uh, and, 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 and seeking about who she really is started so okay now why I am sharing this with you because I, I believe it has it is really very um, um, important to for us to realize that these stories we are telling to and sharing to other people are not helping us in other in any ways the <laughs> so we kept on bringing this baggages. That's why it's very hard for us to move on with life. It's very hard for us to enjoy life because we have a lot of baggages. Ang dami. Siguro may backpack pa, meron pang nasa ulo, meron pang shoulder bag. Can you imagine like when you're bringing a lot of baggages, it's hard for you to walk. It's, you cannot walk freely because you have lots of baggages. You, you have a backpack, you have a trolley, meron ka pang nasa ulo mo, or meron ka pang shoulder bag. So can you imagine a person bringing all those baggages 
so the, you can never run or you can never walk freely because you have these baggages these baggages are just the stories we tell are the, those um, happenings that had happened in our lives and we kept on bringing it now i'm not saying na na hindi totoo yung mga nangyari sa buhay mo whatever it is whatever it is that has happened in your life no matter how tragic no matter how uh, painful it is but it has already happened know that it has already happened you can never go back the time and, and change what has happened what has happened has already happened Diba? So, wala na tayong control over it. But why are we kept on reliving it? Diba? Most of us are doing that. And even me, for for a long time, I've been doing that. I've been telling, telling people, Oh, ganitong ginawa sa akin. So, for, uh, for, for those of you, my close friends and my family, you know that I've been into network marketing. And I kept on telling oh uh, i was character assassinated by my upline and then i i tell this story like this and that um like like i am the victim of course um there are things that has been done to me na sabihin na nating character assassination or what but in one way or another i have done something wrong also in, in 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 one way or another i have also committed character assassination i cannot say that i am perfect right like like i have said something also against someone so why i am kept on telling other people this story and then dahil parati ko siyang sinasabi on my next company <laughs> it happened again and it's like a taijubu, like, oh my god, it happened before and now it happened like, meron lang siyang somehow konting twist, pero parang pare-pareho lang talaga yung nangyari. And that time, I did not realize that it is because of what I am vibrating, of what I am telling the people. Another thing, before I, I was, I, when I was still single, I kept on telling other people, my friends, and, and everyone that I met, kahit bago pa lang, sinasabi ko, you know, I really wanted to, to, um, to get married na hindi pa ako buntis. I, I, I kept on telling that. And guess what? <laughs> buntis ako nung, nung, when I get married. Why? Because I kept on telling it. I'm sending that vibration. So now, ngayon ko lang talaga siya, naintindihan lahat na, okay, this is because of what I am sending. Remember, thoughts have energy. Um, so the story that you're telling has energy. <laughs> and, and so the question is, when are you going to let go of that story? that bad story that painful story that struggle when are you going to bring to, to when are you going to let go of that a day before you die a month before you die or a year before you die no one has ever had the chance or no one in this entire universe even the scientists even the brightest or <laughs> the genuest <laughs> a person in this entire world no one ever knows when are we gonna end our lives like when are we gonna die even if the doctors will say oh you only have two months to live or three weeks to live or one week to live we know that there are people uh, being said that they are only they only have one week to live but they still live like 10 years or five years additional to their lives because no one really even the doctors they don't know what's when are we gonna die so the question now is when are you gonna let go of that of that of that fear of that of that um, pain of that story when <laughs> so that's the question 
if you don't know, if we don't know when are we gonna die, then is it the message here is to let go of it now? So, sabi pa nga nung babae doon sa story, sabi niya, the, para da, parang naisip niya, as she was writing uh, on her diary, sabi niya, the guru wanted me to let go of, of the, my story in the river, like to give it to the river just like I'm, I'm, I'm throwing a banana peel or an apple in the river. This is my story. <laughs> so, para sabi niya, ganun lang kadali, mag let go. And actually, ganun lang kadali, should you decide to. Okay, I want you to think. I want you to, um, what do you call that? Contemplate right now and ask yourself this question. When am I going to let go of this pain? When am I going to let go of this story? I have a friend who came here um, the other day. I told her, because she was telling me about like some about forgiveness about someone who did something wrong to her and I said when are you going to let go of that <laughs> you know very well the, the reason uh, the reason why your life is so heavy the reason why you, you don't feel the joy and the bliss and heaven here on earth it is because you always hold you are always holding on to that story to that pain i think it's time to let it go <laughs> let go of that my friend kasi hindi siya nakakatulong sa buhay mo <laughs> and it will life is so beautiful life is so wonderful i i tell you it's I, how can i say how can i say it it's so beautiful it's a wonderful um life to live i mean this is this Life is so beautiful that we rob ourselves of the, the heaven here on earth. We rob ourselves of the happy, happiness that sana dapat ma-feel natin or ma-enjoy natin yung life experience natin dito. It is because of kept, because we kept on, on holding on to those pain, to those, to those story na, na dinadala-dala natin. Diba? I mean, let go of that <laughs> put it in the river or put it all together give it all together we have heard that song uh, or even it is written that give it all to him give it all to jesus and he will turn your sorrow into joy we kept on singing that i kept on singing at that before but i don't really understand the real meaning of that but now i can say it's really like I'm living it right now <laughs> because uh, today I enjoy really my life. There are, as I've said, there are happenings in my life uh, right now na, that has helped me to realize to let go of the drama, let go of the pain, whatever happens to me in, in a day, I make sure that at night I, I make sure to forget everything as in everything i want to forget all the pain if i ha if i am being mistreated is if i heard some um kung nasigawan man ako or mayroon man nangyari now whatever it is that happened to me in a day i make sure to let go of it at night because tomorrow is another day <laughs> i don't want to bring that pain i don't want to bring that um that sorrow, that struggle on the next day. Kasi di ba ma-accumulate lang yun? At, oh, it, it, it will, you know, make me heavy. It will not help me enjoy life. And, and uh, my mantra every day is to really enjoy life, to, to seize every moment. And I'm not, I'm not going or I will not be able to do that if I bring all those baggages. So, contemplate and check your life right now how many baggages you are carrying na baka na, nung ano ka pa uh, one year old ka pa kung naalala mo pa baka yung mga mga nangyari sa iyo nung bata ka pa hanggang ngayon daladala mo pa rin it's time to let go give it all to the river give it all to god give it all to 
to the universe and they that that will be the start of of the new beginning so every time so now i i i am not i'm not the perfect and i mean there are times that i i tend to share my story but because of this awareness i always remind myself to you know focus on what i really want in life and and what i want in life i so i am i'm just gonna share uh like this uh i want uh, i have been through a lot in life i have um encountered challenges i have encountered some uh, problems with relationship but all of those has helped me to become who i really am right now so without any you know giving details about it without giving uh names or whatever i mean so generally i will just say that that those things experiences that i've been through has helped me to become who i really am right now so uh, and it helped it helps a lot because um the, the vibration that you're sending is not negative anymore it's not heavy anymore so when you share those stories those negative stories you are actually passing that negativity to the person listening to you so be very aware of, of what you are sending to the universe of course we don't want to add more negativity there's a lot of negativity happening all over the world right now so in my own little way i don't want to add any more to the negativity so i'm always aware of what i'm thinking of what i'm saying because um i want to be part of the solution definitely so i hope you all uh um try to share stories of the good things that happens in your life uh share stories that are inspiring okay not those painful stories do those those uh, I've been cheated I've been um, I've been buttered I'm not treated well so those stories are not helping in any way so though as I've said though it is true that it happened in your life but you don't want it to happen again right so don't keep on telling that if you don't want that to happen again don't say it again that's it <laughs> so i guess that's it for today i i made this video quite long already so see you then on my next video bye for now namaste hello everyone i'm back i'm making another video again kasi medyo ginanahan ako sa aking place na uh, where i am right now i am under the tree i'm having my um, bonding moment with this tree <laughs> ang sarap ng hangin dito ang sarap ng feeling <laughs> okay and i am going to uh, share with you uh, i mean the last video that i I've, I've shared i mean the last time I talked about taking full responsibility or how do we respond respond to the food that we are eating so it is very important to be aligned and to respond positively to the food that we are eating and I'm not gonna share about it anymore if you want to know about it how to be aligned with the food how to have the body that you wanted then go ahead check it out i have uh, a video about it anyways my topic will still be about responsibility how do we res how do we respond to situations to people in our lives and how do we stop this blame game <laughs> because most of us we play the victim role right we say I am like this because of my parents because of my spouse because of the government 
because of the weather, because of what had happened to me, I am this. And because of my grand-grandparents, kaya until now, pulubi pa rin kami. So we have this, we heard all those victim story. we hear those things um, that always blame other people except ourselves. I'm not saying that we should blame ourselves, but what I'm trying to say here is it's time to take full responsibility to whatever it is that is happening in our lives because as my experience in life has brought me to realize that indeed we create our own reality the reality that you are experiencing right now is actually your creating i repeat the reality that you are experiencing right now if you are happy joyful or miserable or in pain you have created that because everything that is happening in our lives are all are, are all of these are actually and all of this has happened inside of us not outside of us right the pain the joy and the misery that you are feeling it is not outside it is inside so meaning you have the power to change it you have the power to create whatever it is you want to feel but i know of course um in our in deep within our soul we know that but because of society's conditioning because of of you know the people that has uh the people around us and what we see what we saw on television on, in our society and then we are convinced then that oh, oh uh, i i am this because of this person and, and i tell you no whatever it is you are encountering you're experiencing right now in your life is definitely of your making you have created that masakit man pero the moment you accept this this is one of the life secret that has that i have applied in my life that has helped me a lot to live a blissful life a life full of joy and, and happiness i can really say honestly say to you that i am in bliss i i, I can i'm very happy despite and in spite of i'm not saying that there are no happenings there are no uh, uh what do you call that there are no uh, contrast or no problems that has arisen in my life right now sabi ko nga mas level up pa more on emotional and everything but but i i am having this peace within me that uh, hindi ko alam kung paano explain and that's basically the reason why i am sharing it with you because in in my hope that somehow some of you maybe maybe not all of you but maybe some of you who are really listening to me or share or listening to what i am sharing somehow might as well be able to um understand and be aware about these things that i'm sharing with you so again this uh when i start taking full responsibility of my life that's when my life changes as in sobrang laki ng pagbabago ng buhay ko it's like 180 degrees third now lately as i've said uh, i have i stopped making videos for a while because i, I want to experience um, this uh, responsibility thing taking full responsibility thing and then one day there there's a, something that happened um in my family member of course i will not name names but uh, i mean um we had a fight and then instead of the old DSA will definitely fight back will definitely answer back or because oh i'm not like that or i i, I will try to reason out okay that's the old DSA. but uh that time i was just talking to myself while that person was also talking and 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 and, and was angry so i was talking to myself and i said i asked myself what is it active in me 
what vibration I am vibrating, why I am being brought to this kind of person, why this person has been brought into my life. And nagsasalita lang siya, galit siya in, 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 in my in my case, I just listen, I, I just kept on you know, saying to myself I take full responsibility even to this happening even to this situation na nagalit siya I, I still take full responsibility of this. I don't want to blame him for this or what, but but okay, I, I take full responsibility. I created this. So why? Why? So I ask myself, why am I creating this? I don't want this to happen. What is it active in me? And you know what? I feel the relief. I don't feel anger. I don't feel pain. I don't feel like answering back and maybe Siguro nagtataka din siya na, uy, parang himala, <laughs> diba? And, and so, it did not grow. <laughs> that that fight did not grow because I did not answer back and I, I just take full responsibility instead of blaming, instead of answering back or, or fighting or, or, or defending myself. I took the full responsibility responsibility of whatever it is that is happening around me and i tell you it has helped me a lot to enjoy life more i said i am enjoying i i now that i am discovering this you know that how life goes how, how the, the the secrets to life wow i i just say aha this is it aha okay i have this a lot of aha moment and wow moments in my life so it's time for us to take full responsibility of our lives <laughs> whatever it is that has happened and will happen in our lives it is of our making we have created that so the question now here is what do you want to create what life you want to create do you want to to live a life full of hatred full of anger and, and and full of pain of course we don't like that right it's so heavy so let's change we, let's create a life that we want it's simple as that just make the decision to create a life that you want i think it's time for us to stop the blame game and to st stop playing the victim role <laughs> because if we kept on playing the victim role we will be the victim for the rest of our lives and we don't want that right we want to be the author the creator of, of the life that we have god will not na imagine you ba god will not go down and direct us to oh this is what you're going to do and this this is what you're going to do each of us god is so powerful that he made each of us he has given us that power inside of us there's an in inside power that that um will guide us through our lives that will help us to create a life that we want okay do not wait for god to come down and 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 be happy you can be happy because god is within you <laughs> but because we are always playing the victim game and so we have experienced a life full of pain and struggle and and we always seem to be the victim because we always play that role i think it's time to stop stop uh na close na yung abs cbn so <laughs> kailangan is stop na din natin yung mga drama in life it's time to create a wonderful life an enjoyable life go ahead i mean life is so precious each moment is is so precious it's so wonderful that you will just spend it to hate to to agony to pain to misery it's it's a choice so maybe you will say yes ha nasabi mo lang yan because you haven't been to my situation you haven't experienced what i have experienced well we have different experiences in life i i too have some painful experiences i i too have experienced being being you know 
being assassinated, character assassinated or what. I mean, in, in my opinion, I have been hurt. I have been, uh, you know, someone did something wrong to me also. But I decided to let it go. I, as I've said on my previous video, I decided to change the story in my life because I have realized that I create my own reality. And the reality that I want to experience is is a life full of joy and happiness and i want to seize every moment of my life i don't want to i don't want to waste even a second you know to hate to anger so uh, i i remind myself always whenever i am being into a situation or i encounter some you know, you know um, um some people in my life that are um um, not so pleasing or let's say some people that are you know really testing me or what but um, I always remind myself that I can create my own reality and I take full responsibility what to whatever it is that is happening in my life to the people that surrounds me to that to the people that is being brought to my life I know I have created it I, I know I have in one way or another I have caused this to happen so whenever there are some problems there are some happenings in your life do not go out and point other people why it has happened to you go inside because the solution is always inside it is always an inside job so go inside and check yourself what have you done what have you vibrated what have you thought prior to these happenings that has caused this to happen because in one way or another you have caused that you have actually created that maybe by default because not maybe really by default because most of us are living a life by default we just live a life not uh, we're not aware of, of what we are thinking we are not aware of, of what we are a, a saying and we're not aware of what we what story we are telling the world so that's why the result is a life also by default what we see in the world uh, mostly what uh, lives we see in the world yun lang din ang um, experience din natin because that's what we, we try to copy we just live by default but when you realize that you can create your reality that you can actually create your your own reality then you will start to create a wonderful life a, 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 a blissful life so i hope you will you know think of it uh think of this things that i'm sharing with you again as i've said do not believe me but check it for yourself uh check it for yourself is if what i'm saying is true for you or not and and then uh then come back to me when you when you uh found out anything that uh, has helped you with uh the things that i'm sharing with you so i as i've said my purpose here is just to share awareness to give awareness and to help people also live a life full of um happiness and blissfulness and fun that's what life is meant to be actually okay so bye for now have a good day i love you all